Hi, I'm John Lloyd Young. Uh, had a great time talking to Franz. Thank you. I'm from the original cast of Jersey Boys. This is our album. And you're watching this only on musicalworld.tv. Voor onze zomerspecials gokten we deze keer maar eens hoog. We vroegen hem op een interview en hij zei zomaar ja. Terwijl hij afgelopen zondag nog uh, lang uit in de Los Angeles Times stond. Niemand minder dan Tony Award winnaar John Lloyd Young van Jersey Boys. John Lloyd. We are in Los Angeles. That's pretty far from Broadway. What are you doing here? I came out to Los Angeles <clears throat> to do Les Miserables at the Hollywood Bowl um, in front of 17,000 people. We did three performances and I played Marius. And I can see I did my first movie, which was a comedy with Lainey Kazan, who played the mother in My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the Dutch translation of that would be. <laughs> my Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yeah, my Big Fat Greek Wedding in Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> and she played my mother in a, in a comedy about <clears throat> a, a Jewish family whose son is gay, but they don't know it. It's called Oy Vey, My Son is Gay. I'm gay. Oy Vey, My Son is Gay. And the other adventure, of course, was the most talked about TV show in Holland, Glee. You were in episode three? I was in the second episode. Oh, the second, yes. I was actually the first guest star invited to be on the show of anybody. Mm. Um, and uh, played a very interesting and surprising character that, that, we'll, that I guess we'll, we'll let the Dutch audiences wait to see. <laughs> um, and I didn't sing a single note. No. It's very interesting. <laughs> This is my award that I gave the creators of Glee after I filmed my episode because it was only the second episode of the entire show and I lost my thumbs, so I, as my character lost his thumbs, so I decided to give my thumbs to, um, to the creators of, of, of Glee. Can't get her out of my head, miss her, kiss her. Wrong movie, Dad. I loved the episode, but I was sad that you suddenly disappeared. Will you ever come back in the show? I don't know. My ex-girlfriend is the star of the show, so... Uh, who is we'll, the ex? We'll have to see. Leah Michelle. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. so I may not be back on the show, <laughs> at least until her... Maybe after her character graduates high school. <laughs> <laughs> and in the Los Angeles Times, I read last Sunday, that you even exhibit your own art. Well, I'm a huge fan of visual art. Um, I love Calder and uh, Jeff Koons and... Mm -hmm. uh, Warhol and um, Rauschenberg, so they're just, I, I love visual art, and so I started doing my own visual art. Mm -hmm. And we were talking before when the camera was off about the idea of ready-mades. I'm really having fun making mixed media creations, and mm -hmm. Sunday was my debut, and it was fantastic. Yes. It was a lot of fun. With this artwork, it's to entertain, mm -hmm. and I've found a fun way of mixing media that, um, that I haven't seen as an art fan. I haven't seen other people doing it, and so for me, it's, it's like a fun way of, of expressing things that I think it's... I, I like the idea of taking a can of Spam and making it into jewelry or like yeah. something like th that you revere and you put in a case. I mean, I think that's a funny irony. I spent almost 10 years uh, cutting my teeth in, in New York as a theater actor and Jersey Boys was sort of the pinnacle of all of the work that I put in for you know the beginning of my career and it was this huge overwhelming success of a show so for me that was like um, um, graduating in so graduating high school and, and now I moved out to Los Angeles to start to try new things I did my first movie I did Glee and I just had my my visual art debut so it's a really exciting time right now it's like an exploratory time uh, I did the most that an actor can do on Broadway um, and and can go back to Broadway in the future and now while I'm while I'm uh, you know still young and 
and uh, and vital. This is this is where I want to try my new things, and, and I'm really excited about the possibilities here and the things that I've already started to do. You never had a feeling that you peaked too soon in your career. At my age, no. <laughs> At my age, it's it's more just a, like a beginning than than a peak. No, you, there's no such thing as peaking too soon in a career. It's you get you get you know you you they you know actors refer to like roles of a lifetime and I happen to have a role of a lifetime at you know 29 years old but you know the the great thing about being as an act being an actor is you age into your future roles when I'm 50 I will be appropriate for 50 year old mm -hmm. characters and so you can hit the role of a lifetime more than once in a lifetime yes. you know I'm aging and and there, there'll be things that I grow into, there'll be things that come my way that are not right for me at this age, but that will be right for me at that age, and I could have another, another staggering success again in 10 years. So for me, as an artist, it's about what's right ahead of me and doing it as excellently as I can, and if you're lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time and have a role like Frankie Valley and Jersey Boys, mm -hmm. then go for it. And you know, with that show, obviously we all went to the moon with that one. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Instrumental in your success was a review in the New York Times by Ben Brantley. He was very kind to me. That that year was the year that um, Philip Seymour Hoffman won an Oscar for Capote. Yes. And I, this was my first Broadway show and my first ever major New York Times review. I'd been in plays that had been reviewed by the New York Times, but I'd never been singled out. And so here I am opening in my first Broadway show ever, and here comes this New York Times article that then compares my performance to, to Philip Seymour Hoffman and Capote. Yes. And that, was, that wasn't where it ended. It, there was, I mean, it was an extremely um, positive review for me. So. Uh, I was already overwhelmed by everything that was happening just being on Broadway, period, and then to have the toughest theater critic in New York uh, laud your performance in mm -hmm. such a way, it was just, I, I couldn't even really process it. It took months for me to understand the impact of that. It was really around the time the Tonys were happening when I realized how important that review was yes. to my career, yep. because it was a, sort of a reference point as we were gaining momentum and there was, there was competition for the Tony Award that was a really strong uh, thing that I had in my favor and that the show had in its favor was mm -hmm. th those, not only that review, but all of the amazing reviews that we had gotten as a show, period. Um, we had a lot going for us because of those, uh, because of the critical response. And, and clearly we had the audience on our side. I love you, baby, and if it's to discuss this, your Tony Award. Were you surprised when they called out your name? I had, there were three other major awards that led up to the Tony and we were clearly the favorite show that season on Broadway, so there was a lot of fanfare. I was very nervous that I wouldn't win, but when I did, I was just relieved. I wasn't surprised, I was relieved <laughs> because we had worked so hard against all odds really because there we we opened in an environment where people didn't expect our show to succeed because it was a jukebox show yeah. a jukebox show because i don't really believe jersey boys is a jukebox show i think it's more of a biography of a band and um, w we opened to very low expectations and we blew the top off of all the expectations so there was so much fanfare so much hype and excitement leading up to the tonys that uh, winning felt like relief more <laughs> than it did like surprise. W would you have been angry if you did not win? I would not have been angry. Uh, I would have been disappointed. Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I found you, stay and let me love you, baby. What did the Tony Award bring you? It brought me a, a great deal of sort of respect and admiration that before I had had everyone was excited about the the role that I was playing and they were excited about this new hit show but the actually winning the Tony Award um, confers on you this sort of a, a, a status that when you walk into a room or get invited to an event they 
they respect you, they honor you in a way that, that when you're uh, new to Broadway, you know, and doing a great job in a show, you, you don't, it's, the treatment is a little bit different. It's more, it's more like you're, you're accepted into the fold of, of, uh, of really well-established and respected Broadway performers, mm -hmm. and, and, and you'll always be in that club. It's like, it feels a little bit like you're, you've been invited into a club. You're just too good to be true. Personally, it was uh, ex extremely gratifying and felt like uh, just uh, the actual Tony every time I see it is a, is a physical reminder of, of the hard work that, that I put into my show and that everyone else put in. It's, um, it's a really warm, warm memory to see, to see it every time I see it. It's, it just for me personally, it just was um, it's like a benchmark, a, a reminder of a really good hard work. What do you think of the, the statue? I think it's the most beautiful award of all the awards. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I love silver, first of all, and, and it's a silver award, and it's this disc, and it, I just, it, it has some action on it, it moves. In fact, just a sec. So close, so close, and yet so far. This is what, so here's the Tony. Oh wow! And this is what what I love about the Tony uh, is that it actually it moves. <laughs> it is a real Tony. Yeah. Well, I must yeah. confess. Do you I want to hold it? Yes, please. But this is really an award. Uh, I'm going to be very unprofessional now. But here it's, it's, and it's and it's heavy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, it's, oh, oh, it's it has uh, some weight. Okay, it has a weight. <laughs> but see, now you know how it felt yeah, when I got, yes. this is how it feels to have a Tony, right, it's, yeah. it's exciting. Especially if you follow Broadway and you love Broadway, mm -hmm. and I loved Broadway my whole life. You know, this is like a, it is like an yeah. Oscar for theater people. Wow. And to actually have one in your own home mm -hmm. and to touch it, yes. you know, and to, I remember the first time I ever saw a Tony Award, I had just graduated college and I was doing a play at a theater that had won the Regional Theater Tony Award. Mm -hmm. They give to theaters around the country. One, Every year they give one, and it was in a big case, and I was right out of college, and I was totally wet behind the ears, just starting out, and I remember just being fascinated staring into the case at it, my first real live Tony, and now I have one. So this is a very happy thing. Wow. Baby, you'll see. Thank you very much, John Lloyd. <laughs> Thanks for having us. And uh, well, you know what? Before we say goodbye, mm -hmm. I have a, I have a surprise uh, for you. And I know you're talking, you're, you're talking to Frankies all over the world, mm -hmm. but I have a unique surprise for you. A unique surprise. A unique surprise that only I can give you. It's the original cast recording, uh. which is now platinum. It sold over a million copies, signed by me, and I'm on this. So this is so this is that you can only get this from me, uh. and, uh, and and I'm, it's my gift to you. And I even I wrote to France there. So thank there you, you very much. It's great to talk to you. Thank and you. Good luck. Good luck. To say, send my best to Rick uh, tomorrow, right? Yes. Send my best to Rick. Hi, Rick. <laughs> and uh, and great luck with uh, with Jersey Boys in Holland. I hope I get to go see it. I hope it's a huge success. And um, all of the, uh, the, the people who watch this website, you need to go see this show. It is a fantastic show, and I'm not just saying that because I was there, you know, in the original cast. Who loves you pretty, baby?